The Senate has been urged to step down the social media bill, which has passed through second reading. The bill, which was widely rejected by Nigerians, was sponsored by Senator Mohamed Musa, representing Niger East in 2019. Not satisfied with the disposition of the Red Chamber, a coalition of civil society organizations staged a protest at the Unity Fountain Abuja, demanding for a permanent shutdown of the bill. We are asking the Senate committee that is handling this bill, that handled the public hearing, to immediately produce a report that satisfies of course, the result of what happened on March 9, when Nigerians rejected that bill. The National Assembly has no duty keeping that bill you know, in the allo chamber or trying to oxygenate a bill that is more injurious to our democratic freedom. Nigeria should be a leading light of democracy in Africa. Nigeria should be a nation that is advancing the course of democracy human rights. They further warned on likely implications of passing the bill into law on the nation's democracy. These rulings are indicative of the illegality and tyrannical nature of any government's attempt to outright constrict citizens' rights to freely express themselves or use legislations like the social media bill, which among other things has been ill-designed to attack such vague things as coordinate inauthentic behavior and promote incredibly repressive moves like an access blocking order whenever citizens express their opinions, a fundamental right that remains guaranteed under the Nigerian constitution. To pass a bill like the social media bill will not only be a direct attack on equity and free speech, but it will fundamentally alter Nigeria's democracy in ways that may lead to unforeseen troubles for the country. Some of the CSOs that initiated the protest include the Center for Liberty, Streets Project Foundation, NATO Foundation, Physically Challenged Empowerment Initiatives, Global Rights, Mothers and Marginalized Advocacy Center, Mama Center, MON Legal and Invictus Africa, Palang Booker, CNN News.